Okay, so this bullet point is about having a function for uh, rendering the whole scene. Now, if you've been following along with me, you have some function named similar to render all shapes. And so we have this bullet point done already. So let me instead say a little bit about why I think it's important to have this. So all of our drawing is isolated in one place rather than in multiple places. Now, why is this useful? Well, in our main, we wanted to render all shapes. So this was something we wanted to do at the beginning of the program. But also, when we wanted to have a slider, when we got done moving the mouse on the slider, if we look at what happens in the slider, right, we update the value of the slider, and then we want to update based on this. And so we just say render all shapes. And then whatever the state of the world is that we have so far, uh, we go render. So this notion in graphics of having a set of variables which stores your state of the world, and then when it's time to draw, you just say go do it based on the current state of the world. So your updates happen to the state of the world rather than to the drawing and segmenting these two concepts from each other is quite consistently done in graphics. And I think it's going to save you a lot of pain in your programs if you do it, which is why I've led you down this path and I'm requiring it in the bullet points, that you have some function that controls all. Now there's a more practical reason too. The most bugs that I've seen have um, from, in office hours, people come to me, they've got their bugs. The most bugs that I've seen are by people that have their drawing codes spread out all over in their code, right? Drawing the cubes is over in one place, drawing the triangles is over in, an, in another place, and their draw cube function maybe has a clear call in it, and their some other function is turning on attributes. And when the code is messy in that way, it's very difficult to figure out what you're, what's going on. So I've tried to lead down the path of, you know, there's one function that sets up WebGL. There's one function that attaches all your variables instead of attaching them here and there in your code. You have one function that does your rendering. And, and I think this will lead to fewer bugs uh, and at least easier bugs to find when you're, when you're